Hey, Shark, come on. Wake up. It's morning already? Yeah, we should probably teach classes after, um, after my G's over. Okay. Good. Oh, hi, Mom. You're down here, right? Yes, I am down here. Because I want to go to the grocery store. I see. Ah, I think it's too bright for me to see. Well, then switch lights. Okay, I'll switch lights. Was that better for you? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Hey, this is really cool. I like it how this... Shh. Quiet, please. Hello, class. Welcome to the first day of 2021 of the week's filmmaking lesson. The year 2021 is kind of new project we can work on. So let's begin our lesson of our film project. So first, we will be doing home video releases. On today, we will be doing Love and Monsters 2020 film by Camino Friends Black-Headed Ibis. Here is the plot in this film. After the destruction of an asteroid headed for Earth, the chemical fallout causes all cold-blooded animals to mutate into large monsters. During the evacuation of Fairfield, Joel Dawson is separated from his girlfriend Amy but promises to find her, and his parents are killed. Seven years later, Joel lives in one of many underground bunkers called Colonies, where other survivors, except for him, have romantically paired up with each other while fighting monsters and scavenging for supplies. Joel instead is left behind in the kitchen, as he is notorious for freezing in dangerous situations. When a giant ant breaches his colony, killing one of the survivors, Joel sets off on a quest to reunite with Amy so that he doesn't end up alone. Passing through the suburbs, Joel is attacked by a giant toad monster but is saved by a stray dog named Boy, who follows Joel on his journey, warning him against poisonous berries and other dangers. Joel falls into a nest of worm monsters called Sand Gobblers, when two survivors, Clyde Dutton and Minnow, rescue him. They are heading north to the mountains, where the colder weather and higher elevation means fewer monsters. They teach Joel some basic survival skills, and how not all monsters are hostile, demonstrating how you can always tell in their eyes. They invite Joel to stay with them, but Joel insists that he must find Amy. As they part ways, Clyde gifts Joel with a grenade. As Joel continues west, Boy becomes trapped by a giant centipede monster. Joel freezes, but eventually shoots and kills the monster with his crossbow, saving Boy. Sheltering in an abandoned motel, they meet a robot named Mav 1S. Before her battery dies, Mav 1S powers his radio long enough to briefly contact Amy, where he learns that new survivors have reached her colony promising to lead them away to safety. The next day Joel and Boy are attacked by a queen sand gobbler. They hide, but Boy barks, giving away their position. Joel kills the queen with a grenade but yells at Boy for putting them in danger, causing Boy to run away. After swimming across a river, Joel is covered in poisonous leeches and hallucinates, but is rescued before he collapses. Joel wakes to finally see Amy. She leads a beach colony of elderly survivors who depend on her. Joel is introduced to the new survivors, Cap, and his crew. As everyone celebrates their imminent departure, Amy confesses she is glad to see Joel, but has become a different person and is still mourning someone she had become close to. Joel decides to return to his colony and contacts them on the radio, learning that it has become unsafe and that they too must leave soon. Cap sends Joel some berries which he recognizes as poisonous. Realizing Cap is not to be trusted, he rushes to warn Amy but is knocked unconscious. Joel, Amy, and the rest of her colony awaken tied up on the beach. Cap reveals that his group is there to steal supplies and that their yacht is towed by a crab monster that Cap controls with an electrified chain. Cap sets the crab to feed on the colonists, but Joel and Amy escape and are able to fight for their lives, and Boy returns to help. Joel has the opportunity to kill the crab, but he determines that the crab is not hostile by looking into its eyes, and shoots the electrified chain, freeing it. The crab leaves Joel unharmed and instead kills Cap and his crew, and sinks the yacht. Joel recommends Amy and her colony head north. They share a romantic goodbye kiss, and Amy promises she will find him. Joel treks all the way back to his colony, and they two decide to head to the mountains. On the radio, 
Joel inspires other colonies to take to the surface. As everyone heads north, Clyde and Minnow, already in the mountains, wonder if Joel will survive the next journey. All right. On tomorrow, we will be doing Yellow Rose 2019 film. Here is the plot in this film. Unfortunately there is no plot here. Let's move on. On Thursday, we will be doing Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin 1997 film. Here is the plot in this film. On the last day of summer, Christopher Robin is unable to tell his friend Winnie the Pooh some sad news, and leaves him with the advice, you're braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think, but Pooh does not clearly understand. The next morning, Pooh discovers a honeypot with an attached note, however, he cannot read it himself after getting honey all over it. He goes around to his friends Piglet, Tigger, Rabbit, and Dior, but Pooh is not able to read the note, so they ask Owl for help. From misinterpreting the note and his own romantic imagination of adventure, Owl deduces that Christopher Robin has gone to a far away, mysterious and dangerous place called Skull, a cave where the monstrous Skull Aceris resides. Al equips the group with a map and sends them into the Great Unknown at the Hundred Acre Wood. During their journey through the Great Unknown, as they are seemingly hunted by the Scolaceris, the group slowly begins to realize just how helpless they are without Christopher Robin in the outside world. Piglet, Tigger, and Rabbit come to believe they do not have the courage, strength, or intelligence respectively to go on. Piglet is abducted by a swarm of butterflies in a tranquil field leaving him feeling scared and helpless, Digger plummets into a deep gorge and is unable to bounce out to safety, eventually causing the others to fall in with him. Rabbit continuously makes poor leadership decisions following Al's inaccurate map. Pooh tries to comfort them each with the advice Christopher Robin had given him, but fails due to his inability to remember what he said. When Rabbit finally breaks down, admitting he has no idea where they are going, the group comes to terms with the fact that they are lost and helpless without Christopher Robin, and take shelter in a nearby cave. While everyone is asleep, Pooh laments on getting no closer to finding Christopher Robin. The next morning, the five friends realize they had spent the night in the Skull Cave. The group enters and splits up to find Christopher Robin, and Bo Rabbit, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet eventually reunite. They are scared away by Pooh's distorted reflection as he walks towards them from behind a crystal wall, mistaking him for the Scolaceris. Pooh stumbles, slides down a half-crystal pipe and winds up getting stuck in a small gap in the cave's crystals. Meanwhile, the four others find the eye of the skull where Christopher Robin supposedly is trapped. Believing Pooh to have been eaten alive by the Scolaceris, they rise past their fears and doubts and make their way to the eye of the skull. Upon seeing his friend's bravery, Pooh excitedly manages to free himself from the tight gap, only to accidentally slide down a slippery rock and get trapped in a deep pit where he is unable to find a way out. While there, he realizes that Christopher Robin is still with him in his heart, even when they are not together, just as Christopher had promised. After Piglet, Rabbit, Digger and Eer under the eye, they are found by Christopher Robin who has been searching for them as well. He reveals that he was only at school, and the roars of the Scolaceris they have been plagued by are actually the noises of Pooh's tummy rumbling. After Christopher Robin rescues Pooh from the pit, the five exit the Skull Cave, only to discover that from the outside, it and all the other locations on the map were not nearly as big, nor as scary as they seemed. As it was mostly just their imagination. They all head back home, and that evening, Christopher Robin says he will be returning to school the next day. Pooh declares that he will always be waiting for him, and the two happily watch the sunset, knowing they will always have each other in the sanctuary of the Hundred Acre Wood. All right. On Friday, we will be doing Bambi 1942 film. Here is the plot in this film. A doe gives birth to a fawn named Bambi, who will one day take over the position of Great Prince of the Forest a title currently held by Bambi's father, who guards the woodland creatures against the dangers of hunters. As an infant he befriends an eager, energetic young rabbit named Thumper, who helps him learn how to walk and speak. Bambi grows up very attached to his mother, with whom he spends most of his time. He soon makes other friends, 
including a skunk kit named Flower and a female fawn named Fallon. Curious and inquisitive, Bambi frequently asks about the world around him and is cautioned about the dangers of life as a forest creature by his loving mother. One day out in a meadow, Bambi briefly sees the Great Prince but does not realize that he is his father. As the Great Prince wanders uphill, he discovers the human hunter named Man by all the animals is coming and rushes down to the meadow to get everyone to safety. Bambi is briefly separated from his mother during that time but is escorted to her by the Great Prince as the three of them make it back in the forest just as Man fires his gun. During Bambi's first winter, he and Thumper play in the snow while Flower hibernates. One day his mother takes him along to find food when Man shows up again. As they escape his mother is shot and killed by the hunter, leaving the little fawn mournful and alone. Taking pity on his abandoned son, the great prince leads Bambi home as he reveals to him that he is his father. Next year, Bambi has matured into a young stag, and his childhood friends have entered young adulthood as well. They are warned of Twitter patient by friend Owl and that they will eventually fall in love, although the trio view the concept of romance with scorn. However, Thumper and Flower soon encounter their beautiful romantic counterparts and abandon their former thoughts on love. Bambi himself encounters Fallon as a beautiful doe. However, their courtship is quickly interrupted and challenged by a belligerent older stag named Rano, who attempts to force Fallon away from Bambi. Bambi successfully manages to defeat Rano in battle and earn the rights to the doe's affections. Bambi is awakened afterward by the smell of smoke. He follows it and discovers it leads to a hunter camp. Bambi is warned by his father that man has returned with more hunters. The two flee to safety, although Bambi is separated from Fallon in the turmoil and searches for her along the way. He soon finds her cornered by man's vicious hunting dogs, which he manages to ward off. Bambi escapes them and is shot by a hunter. Meanwhile, at the man's camp, their campfire suddenly spreads into the forest resulting in a wildfire from which the forest residents flee in fear. Bambi, his father, Fallon, and the forest animals manage to reach shelter on a riverbank. The following spring, Fallon gives birth to twins under Bambi's watchful eye as the new great prince of the forest. Alright. That's all the home video releases we got. So second, we will be doing TV series over home video releases. On today, tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, we will be doing Chocado Anime Kimono Friends 3. I really don't know when are we doing this because we haven't been to GoGo Anime. So because we said that Kimono Friends will be in this section to this website. Alright. That's all the TV series over home video releases we got. So third, we will be doing MM Monkey Pictures and Roman Cow Productions and Donkey Teeth Company Shorts. It is about the mouse who is really tiny in this little tiny hole, trying to get some cheese, the cat protects it and they set off mouse traps for him. But it was too late. The mouse gets the cheese and the cat tries to catch the mouse and the cat hollers with his own traps. Alright. That's all the shorts we got. So forth, we will be doing Samsung Galaxy S21. I got this new phone if you want to try it. The story begins where Mai Mai plays Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus and the commercial breaks goes into Animaniacs, Looney Tunes cartoons, Mark Stefan, Error Message, Kit Yusha, 15.i, Google Translate, Bartender Says Morris, High School Prodigies Have It Ease Even in Another World, Anime, WB Kids and WDW News Today. And the story continues when Mai Mai congratulates Tsukuyo Iman on her freshman year. The student sent her loyalist college and makes an opening ceremony. Mai Mai has to bring Tsukuyo Iman to her sleep night club and Tsukuyo Iman joins the club. As they prepare for the freshman year reception, Mai Mai watches me and my friends playing Mary Poppins Returns the cover is not the book. As Mai Mai tells Zanifu Taba that Tsukuyo Iman learns her strength to make her own attack. Tsukuyo Iman breaks up the cars into pieces and crash lands on the bridge. Mai Mai tells all magical girls to transform themselves to finish off the car that broke down. And so Mai Mai goes to Gloucester, Ontario, Canada with the magical girls. Mai Mai wanders into the streets but they found rotisserie ST Hubert to eat dinner. Mai Mai went to comfort in with magical girls and they sleep very warm and cozy. Alright. That's all we got for today, 
Let's do some work now. Okay, let's do some work now. Hello, um, guys. Hello. 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 Um, guys, um, let's check out Utterly Pride, don't we? Yeah, I want to see Utterly Pride. Alright. Um, Utterly Pride, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Utterly Pride. Um, characters. I need to look up on characters and see. Okay. Um, uh, which one's characters? Oh, fandom. What's that? I'm not sure yet. I wonder which friends we're going to. I don't know, maybe, um, something like, um, any other friends? Hmm. Probably that's a good question. Hmm. Hmm. Um, what's this Sakura Kawasaki? Sakura Kawasaki? What's that? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to look up on her. Can you guys read this? I can read it. Cool. Okay. Um, Kenji is Kawasaki Sakura Romaji. Okay. Uh, birthday is, her birthday is on April 3rd, age 17. Zodiac Aries. Height? 156 centimeters. Weight, 44 kilograms. Three sizes, B82, W57, H81. Hobbies, knowing things you don't know. Place of study, Hikari Gasaki High School. Affiliation, Oshimi Production. Member color, orange. Voice actress, actor, Mai Kano. He you think orange is your hair? Yeah, she has orange hair. Look, she's orange. Wow. Okay. Sakura is a naive girl who cherishes the ordinary days. She has a charm that draws people into her, and she often makes impulse decisions according to her heart. She can sense the sub sub subtleties of the heart because of her past of experience experiences and is kind enough to be there for others. She also has the same singing voice as Mena. Hmm. Her image color is orange, right? It does. Well, if that's the case, it's probably, um, like, uh, any other, um, Ali idol prides, like, um, any other idol groups. Well, she Productions was really good. Let's turn off anyway, okay? Okay. Good.